skipping the intro as usual because I don't waste your time, timestamps are in the description. First of all, to learn and understand Tailwind, ideally, you should build one website where you aim to exclusively use Tailwind over vanilla CSS. If you're an official learner, this can be during the stage where you swap from vanilla HTML, CSS, and JavaScript to a JavaScript framework. If you don't know what Tailwind is, by the way, in very simple terms, you can think of it like inline styles, but cleaner and better. Now to actually learn Tailwind, truthfully, there is no clean and easy way. Learning Tailwind is just learning the class names. So instead of wasting your time and pandering a false sense of hope to you, I'm just going to tell you the realistic and best way to do it. Assuming you're comfortable with vanilla CSS and have Tailwind installed by following their installation guide which I linked in the description. When you want to style something, let's say a paragraph tag, and say you want to change the font size, this is an example of what you'd be looking for in vanilla CSS. To find the Tailwind class name, simply tab to the docs and search up the font size. That's it. You'll find a page with Tailwind's versions of font sizes. You can pick the one you're looking for and now you have the Tailwind class name equivalent. Do that enough with different styles and you will learn Tailwind. You don't need to overcomplicate it. You don't need to overthink it. Just put your head down and learn to work with the docs until you don't need to. I promise you it's really just that straightforward. Now there are some resources to speed this up. I've linked the cheat sheet in the description that you can use alternatively that could be faster than the docs. But if you don't fully understand Tailwind as a concept, I would probably stick with the docs for now. If you're using Visual Studio Code, installing Tailwind IntelliSense can make it a lot easier. Finally, to answer any doubts as to why you should use Tailwind. Yes, the more you use Tailwind, the faster and better it will get. Also, if you need another reason, Tailwind inherently follows a lot of styling rules, such as the rule of eight. So by using Tailwind, you make UI design, responsiveness, and overall code hygiene a lot cleaner and better. Finally, one of my favorite reasons, if you ever worked with a media query before, or are familiar with them in any capacity, you know how annoying and unclean they can be. Tailwind's responsiveness prefixes, which look like this, essentially condense an entire media query into three letters and stay in the actual class names, which is just ridiculously clean compared to the vanilla CSS equivalent. All right, I'm gonna give you actionable steps right now that you can take to learn Tailwind. First, you're gonna to commit to using Tailwind for one website. Second, you're going to set Tailwind up using the installation guide. Third, you're going to use Tailwind instead of vanilla CSS and utilize all the tips and resources I gave in this video. If you have any questions for me, you can leave a comment or you can join my Discord server that I just opened where I'll be answering questions or I'll be looking at websites that you guys have built and giving you feedback.